Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video guys. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's talk because we don't have anything that we can do beyond waiting for tomorrow, right? For sure, like m very likely tomorrow we will have the dev stream, shortly after normally we have the dev server and then we're going to actually test these aircraft, but while we wait, let's talk about the new stuff that got confirmed in the teaser, guys. So, you are seeing right now the teaser, and let's talk a little bit about the Vark. Vark, Vark, let's go, let everybody, Vark, Vark, Vark. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, basically, the Art Vark is the F-111. It got confirmed with the teaser, and let's talk a little bit about it. I already have very old videos talking about it. Uh, that I just go through all the versions and stuff, and according to the experts, it, it is a F-111A, or a very early one, at, at, at least, according to the skin, okay? So, uh, and the way that everything is on the trailer, of course, it's only using BOPAS. We will need to wait to confirm 100%, but if it is indeed the A variant, um, we have some things that we can draw from that. The first thing is that, yes, it's kind of underwhelming because it is the initial production version of the F-111. But, of course, they normally always do this, don't they? You know, they just add the first variant so that they can build up from there. So, yeah, uh, it's very good and finally, I mean, it's long overdue that this aircraft is added. And I gotta be honest, I'm pleased to see at least in like any version of it because yes it is the a it is the the most and we're going to talk a little bit about the capabilities of it but it is the most the, like the the one that it's the weakest of them all um but although yes it is that um since we already have one then in the game we can see them building up from there with more versions so let's talk a little bit about it it is a interdictor guys it is a low altitude bomber it was one of the reasons why the mig-31 actually existed you know when it was developed because um, the very high altitude interceptors of the soviet union were meaning basically meant that all the strategic bombers and everything like that and all the, you know, the experience that the Americans were having in Vietnam was showing that the AA systems interceptors of the Soviets would basically make all the bombers not useless because in a war you would have a lot of other aircraft flying around, but it would be difficult for a strategic bomber to be effective. Okay, so they decided to go with kind of a world tendency of just using low altitude bombers very fast, very low altitude, and basically build a bomber, a nuclear bomber with that. And of course, being nuclear or not, it can, you know, deploy normal bombs as well, right? And the F-111 was that. It had a terrain-following radar that ma basically made the pilot be able to fly hands-off, or basically with a full autopilot flying very low to the ground, right? So it was very modern at the time. Um, but you have to understand that this is a late 60s, early 70s aircraft, okay? Uh, the A variant. So it has the TF-30, the good old TF-30 that we have in F-14A. And in this version, it produces around 82 kilonewtons each of afterburning thrust. Which means that it is very much a very weak engine compared to the one in the later models of the F-111. And remember, this aircraft has a 42 ton 42 ton max takeoff weight, so it weights alone, only the aircraft weights around 20 tons already, kilogram, right? So it's, uh, it's a big boy, you know, it's a big, big boy. There is um, some pictures, I will try to find it, um, that compare the Tornado to it, and the Tornado is like half size, the, 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 the F-111, it's really, really big. So, how effective would it be? So, remember that I said that this aircraft is from the late 60s, early 70s, right? So what that does that mean? Well, it means that it doesn't have anything too advanced, you know? Um, it will have probably just bullpups as we saw in the trailer. Everything else will probably be unguided. So the Mark 80 series with high drags or not, 
and low drags, you know, probably napalm as well, napalm, and rockets and everything like that. But the guided stuff will probably be just the bullpups, okay? Once we get the more advanced stuff, it will get laser guided and etc. right? But in the early variants, it is just the bullpup. So this probably will have a very low BR, like a 9 point something, 9.7 maybe, 9.3, 9.7, 10.0, something along those lines. It will carry a lot of bombs, but it will be, you know, heavy. It will not turn very well. Not very good at defenses or anything like that. And yeah, it is going to be basically a bomber. At a cast option, it's not gonna be that good as well, I don't think. So yeah, it's kind of frustrating because it's an aircraft that everybody loves and stuff. But it is a kind of underwhelming. And it's because of the early variant of it. That's pretty much what happens there. Okay, so don't mind me, you know, like... I'm sorry that I'm saying that because I know you love the F-111 and I, I love flying this type of aircraft as well. I'm crossing my fingers that the Su-24 will also get its first variant added in this patch. But um, the F-111A is kind of underwhelming. Hopefully, in the future, we get better versions of it and we will most definitely get an E variant, F variant. The F would be cooler. Uh, but still... The A is needed to be the bridge between the F-105 and those later models. But anyway, this is how the F-111 will be like. Heavy, very fast, but heavy. Not very good at dogfights, not very good at protecting itself, but with a massive, massive bomb load. So that's where it's actually good at. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one. Okay? Bye. See ya. Subscribe.